Welcome to TradeTheNBA.com. This is John's reports for the 25th as we head into Thanksgiving holiday. Everyone seems to be thrilled with uh, market projections and that, and we continue to move. Well, now we're in the 3620 range, so getting closer and closer to that 4,000. And remember that prediction way back, long before, uh, well, right around when this pandemic, uh, well, even before then, uh, we were expecting this was going to be a continuation just given. Um, the amount of spending and everything that was taking place and the proposed deficits, the market has to take that devaluation into account for the future, um, which for a lot of people throws off, you know, your price earnings ratios, all that stuff. But um, these periods happen in time and you have to be aware of them when they're taking place so that you can understand uh, the motivation because so many people are on the wrong side of this, uh, expecting things to be uh, more muted or uh, even negative. Um, and in some cases, you could say this is negative because we really should be past uh, 4,000 plus given what we're seeing. So this is reflecting a modestly negative economic outlook, um, as peculiar as that may sound. So we had a huge move the other day. Uh, as more states and everything are getting resolved, uh, though I think today uh, some of them are talking about additional lawsuits coming through. So uh, that legal aspect of it is going to start to heat up. But uh, I think a lot of people are just saying they don't see any evidence. So uh, the market is pretty comfortable with where things are going. Uh, virtual gridlock and gridlock is always good for the market girl yes the market loves that um, because no action means you're not doing anything detrimental to them which means they can pretty much do what they want and that's always good for business uh, so from an nq standpoint again uh, catching up a little bit but if you look at the comparison uh we're near the 100 percent on the s p and just barely over the 76 percent on the NQ, so it gives you that uh, bit of a dynamic differential right there. Uh, we also have uh, steel popping up here. We got the green over red. So all the right things are taking place, and we're starting a new cycle of the shakeup. What we were kind of looking for, and of course, the euro breaking up here into a new range. Uh, still hasn't reached the peak highs from before, but it should get there without much trouble, uh, given the. Uh, condition of the dollar and where it's headed for the most part. And this has led to a bit of suffering in gold. And, but the interesting aspect of that is you're seeing a buildup in crypto. Uh, so the cryptocurrencies are tending to get a little bit more flow uh, at this particular point, And I would expect them to continue to do so, uh, just given the dynamics of where the market is right now. People not wanting to get uh, too caught up in the uh, valuations of the market, um, particularly with some of the uncertainty that still remains from an intraday standpoint well you know we started <laughs> on that nice rise of cyan under red that we went green uh this was an interesting one something i want you to pay attention to doc spread with a full reset of the steel from below and really a generally positive um Power Mode 2, as well as still uh, Magento over plus 15 on your uh, shakeout. What I tend to look for in this particular case is usually this orange steel meeting that comes up here on the rise because uh, within the DOC spread coming from below here, you know that as soon as you get that steel rise, you're going to have a pump. Um, and as soon as that starts to take place, obviously, if you've got positive extremes built into it, it helps. Um, in this particular case, there were a couple going back to this level of the uh, 3593, um, and then we just kept marking them uh, as they continued to go, uh, and that was pretty easy to do. It makes it uh, nice and clean that way in order to really visualize um, where the algos are taking place and, and the most effective. But here we had the orange spiking above the steel steel breaking down green was still already below red and red was below the zero line and then starting to trend lower and that uh, still gave a fairly decent move um, it doesn't look like a whole lot there but when you're talking about uh we went from around the oh four and a quarter to the you know 97 range just still a five point movement or a normal day would be pretty spectacular when you have a market moving plus eight, nine point, uh, I mean, 50 points or more higher. Uh, looks kind of dwarfed. Uh, we had the dip below the um, green on the um, orange, but not a full dip below the red. 
Uh, that doesn't come until a little bit later here. At the same time, we moved cyan into red, which you know, that was already a positive at that particular point. We had the crossover of the power mode two in the rising directional uh, that happened earlier. So when it popped again and did the same thing a second time, it was just a confirmation by the next bar. And right at the 3601 algo. And from there, boom, we just uh, accelerated. And it was just a matter of waiting for positive extreme, positive extreme. Now, of course, there's more in between there. I just kind of marked the key uh, big ones because some of these other ones that come in a little bit later, they get filled back in pretty quick. Uh, it doesn't become as relevant. And um, again, same situation with those uh, DLC spreads, power mo. Um, in this particular case, you already had the power mo. So here's a little bit of the difference that I'm talking about. DLC spread, you've already got directional net below the negative 13.5. That's something I think you can react to more quickly, particularly when you have uh, magenta below the negative, I mean, below the positive 15. Uh, slightly different, uh, I would say significantly different, actually, comparatively speaking, to when it's above. And you can see the reaction is a little bit stronger to the downside and a little bit faster. Uh, so that just it, it gives you an idea of the, the amplitude of strength so it's just something to compare when you see that, particularly when you have the divergence of higher high on lower shakeout. We always know what do those tend to uh, lead to. And uh, in fact, it did just that. But it, we had a lot of these positive extremes all marked within here, um, including the latest breakout that took place in the post market. And of course, we started to get those getting filled right there. Uh, it was the first one. We still have the 3618. Uh, we're filling a couple of these other ones in in the interim, uh, where we are right about here. So this last positive extreme. So we still have all these ones going slightly before it until we get down to that uh, 3618. So anywhere in between there. Um, looks like we're getting um, pretty close to full reset at this particular stage. Uh, still need to blow the red line, so it's just normalized uh, algo behavior. Filling in beautifully, so we'll be off for Thanksgiving. Hope everyone has a spectacular one, and uh, depending on your state, obviously, uh, where you are in the world, too. Uh, it depends on whether you're with people or you're required to be away from them. Uh, hopefully everyone gets to be with uh, people they care about. Uh, don't know if I'll be around the day after. It'll be the anniversary, of course, of being is passing uh, uh, another year um, as we continue to plug away. But uh, uh, this one, uh, close to Thanksgiving this year. Um, as always, though, if uh, something relevant happens in the updates that I'm almost done with, uh, if I haven't done before, uh, the market open or whatever, I will certainly send them out to you. As always, trade well. We'll talk to you later.